Hi everyone, are you all right? Yeah, I'm glad, but I don't think I am because I don't think I really belong here. I mean, I tried to do my developer resume, and I think we have a problem. I'm not really a developer, actually. Uh, as you can see, when my colleagues ask me to open a terminal, uh, we just have a laugh. I can't. I can't for the life of me uh, sudo a pt get do something. I just want to die. So, but, 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 I am, I contribute to Freelib and open source software every day, and I am paid for that. Actually, in France, I belong in a non-profit called Fermasoft, which, as you can see, are very serious people. Uh, we are a bunch of friends. We're really a bunch of friends, 35 members, eight employees, uh, and we just want to experiment things to, well, to make Freelib and open source software more known by our families, our friends, people who aren't really developers, you know, who aren't usually into Freelib and open source software. So, for example, we have a publishing house with novels, with, uh, as you can see, a LaTeX uh, practical manual, and also uh, an essay. Uh, but we also have uh, Frama Libre, which is a Freelib and open source software, and not only software directory, where well, you can find, well, softwares, of course, but also uh, non-profits and movements and associations and also books and music and videos. Um, actually, from Asoft, we are uh, in, in the non-profit. Half of us are developers and take AV people, and half of us are teachers and people who aren't into computers usually. And we really try to facilitate uh, well, freely by an open source software and culture. Uh, we have more than uh, 50 practical projects nowadays, and uh, everything that we do, we estimate roughly, because we don't uh, profile people, we don't really don't want to, we estimate that it, um, it helps between 200 and 400,000 uh, users each month. Last year, we came, uh, we are French, uh, of course, <laughs> Last year, we came uh, to talk about our Degooglify the Internet project that we have been doing for three years between October 2014 and October 2017. Uh, so I'm going, uh, I'm going to go really quickly on this. But it is a three-step project. First, we have to raise awareness about big data companies, you know, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft. Um, we have been in more than 100 events a year uh, in French. A year to talk about the tri triple domination of this, those big data companies. Of course, they are the most important economical powers now a day. It's not uh, big oil, it's not big pharma, it's big data. Uh, and actually, Facebook isn't in the top five anymore. I will tell you why in a few slides. With the, this economical power, they can buy innovation. They can buy every startup they want, and they can choose what our digital world is and will be. And they can choose to do actually what they want of us. So there is a technological domination, but also a cultural domination. Uh, this painting is a masterpiece by Gustave Courbet, which is called The Origin of the World, when you can see, uh, well, a uh, um, uh, female genitalia in uh, up close, kind of gr gros plan. I don't know how to up close, yeah. And Facebook deleted the account who published this picture, which is in public domain. So there wasn't any copyright problem, you know. But uh, Facebook deleted the account, and uh, in the last few days, uh, it has been determined that French uh, tribunals can judge Facebook for that because it has been four years just to determine if French tri tribunals are able to judge Facebook for some kind of abuse about its morale. So Facebook can impose its morale on every one of us. There is way, way too many things to talk about cultural domination and political domination because, well, they are the biggest lobbyists in the world. But I can't do that right now. I don't have the time. When you talk about this triple domination, two people 
well, like our family, our friends, people who aren't tech savvies, they are really scared by those facts. And their answer is usually, well, okay, okay, but what do I do? There is only Google. There is nothing but Facebook. And you have to propose alternative. So we hosted more than 32 freely and open source softwares on our servers for people to use them as an alternative to Skype with Jitsimit, to Google Docs with Etherpad, uh, to, I don't know, uh, WeTransfer with Luffy, uh, and lots and lots and lots of softwares. Of course, we, we didn't just host, we don't just host those softwares, because when you host software like that, you have to accompany them with user documentation, with self-hosting documentation, with French localization when there isn't, or also with uh, code, because you will need uh, some features, you will need some bug fixes, so you'll have to code yourself. And we participate, we contributed into that. But the danger when you have 32 services and about 200 to 400,000 100, people using your services is to become some kind of ethical French-speaking new Google. And of course, we don't want that. Actually, we want people to get out of our servers. Please, get out. But for that, something for them to go to. So we participated in decentralization. Of course, we have uh, our self-hosting documentation. Every time we host something, we document it so people can reproduce it, of course. But it's nearly not enough. So we help, for example, the YNU host distribution that facilitates self-hosting for web services uh, with one day a week, uh, all throughout uh, 2017, uh, one work day a week of developing so that uh, all the, the Freelip software that we use on our servers can be packaged and available for people who self-host with Wayuna Host. And we also uh, created a collective, initiated a collective, which is called Chaton, which is kitten in French. And the collective has decided that Chaton will be their name uh, internationally. Uh, so uh, this collective works kind of uh, like a label for people who wants to have uh, to use uh, web services. Uh, a label where you, where you know that there will, there will only be Freelib software and also that there will uh, um, be no uh, data inquiry, uh, data profiling and data advertisement, that it will be transparent, uh, defend net neutrality, of course, transparent about the economic model. <laughs> well, a label of trust. And on the other side, for the collective, well, it's a collective and collective helps you help each other and support each other. So now it's growing and we'll see that it won't be nearly enough. But please join and or fork. Uh, all the way the collective works is on Git so that if you don't like Chaton, it will be fine. Just do the tigers or I don't know, the wallabies. Uh, I don't care. But please, please, let's talk together because we can do great things together. Anyway, three years working like that. We are turning a little bit tired. Anyway, we learned lots of things because it's not perfect at all what we did. Of course it isn't. So what we learned is that, well, there is GAFAM and people are, have heard about GAFAM, but also Netflix, uh, Airbnb, Tesla, uh, Uber, but also Baytix, uh, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent and Xiaomi. Tencent, which is now the fifth in the top five of the economical uh, companies by market cap, uh, Tencent is not the fifth. And it's not just those uh, acronyms that excite medias, you know. Uh, it's a culture. It's a system, philosophical and cultural system, which is called by Shoshana Zuboff, uh, surveillance capitalism. And the dream of a society, of, you've all heard of transhumanism by Google and things like that, the dream of a society uh, where we give our, our data and we are predictable and we are good consumers. And we dream in Framasoft and I think in the Freelib software, we dream of another society. So please bear with me. This is the scary part. We have discovered, talking with people who aren't 
into Freelib software, we have discovered to us what Freelib software means. It means open source plus ethics. Because open source is doing great. It's Google, it's uh, Facebook, it's Microsoft, who are the biggest contributor to open source. But it's not exactly the same as Freelib. Because if you, are, if you agree with this equation, it really means that open source is Freelib without any ethics. <laughs> So yes, what we do is politic. And you know what, it's a good news because lots of other people are doing things politically, uh, ecological activists, social activists, uh, people who are just trying to have a karate room, dojo, or a, a theater a play in their village or in their, uh, in their town. You know, those people are doing politics. And when you go and meet those people, as we did for three years, and when you tell them your values exist in the digital world, it's called the free libre and open source software, they are just amazed as they just want to use it. Actually, we have people in our communities that just don't know that our communities exist. And maybe we are also into their communities. So it's really time to dream together of another society, because when we dream of another society, we can make it happen then. Then, by demonstrating, we learned a few things. You, are, you have here Discord and Mumble, two uh, web uh, um, audio chat application. Discord is proprietary, Mumble is free, uh, free libre. I love Mumble, and I'm not blaming them. But when I show Mumble interface to my gamer friends or to ecological activists, this is what they see. We suck at design, and we have to admit it. And it's not Mumble's fault. I didn't do anything. I saw Mumble and how it works. And I didn't do anything. I didn't go and have a beer with a designer, with a UX person or ergonoms and, or graphist. I didn't went and say, hey, what could we do? How could we work? And go and see Mumble and say, how could, we, how could we do something? It's also my fault. It's not to blame Mumble or anyone else, you know. We have to be better at welcoming other talents than developing talents. By a little show of hands, who here has used in the last 12 months LibreOffice? Everyone, VLC. Everyone. Uh, I, I'm not going to do them all, but uh, maybe Isopad, an Isopad instance. Half the room, okay, great. Uh, and also, uh, well, I don't know. So here are some numbers. I am not a developer. I had to have them explained. These are the numbers of developers who did more than 100 or 50 commits in the last 12 months for those softwares. What I had to understand is that a software always needs new code and people who know their code, who commit regularly because a software has to fix its bugs or to be up to date with uh, all the, the, the environment or to have new design and be modern or have new features, okay? Does those look, because I'm not a professional here, does those look like healthy softwares? We use them every day and we as a community don't care enough for them because we lack contribution because we lack people coming and contributing to them. So, okay, we, we must care together. That's another lesson. Okay, maybe it's a hard one, but we must care more together and tend for those commons because Freedom Software are commons and commons needs care. And by decentralizing, we learned that uh, you really need to work on the welcoming aspect. Uh, for example, on the Chaton network, we are not good enough as Framasoft who wanted this network and who initiated it. We haven't given as much time and as much care and as much knowledge as we wanted to. So we need that, we need more time. And also, this is how we describe on the Free Libre Encyclopedia, Wikipedia, the Free Libre licenses. Will you use that to explain your passion to your family at Christmas dinner? Will you use this image? I'm serious. Of course I won't. I have way better ways to say that. 
And I think I'm not the only one in this room that you have some metaphors, you have some uh, little tips, some know-how to explain freely software, to explain licenses, how does it work? But we haven't, as a community, taken time to share all this knowledge, all this know-how, to pass on the knowledge together. So, okay, that's another lesson. So, uh, if I, uh, if I uh, sum up those lessons, Okay, I'm going to sound like a fucking marketing, <laughs> marketing motto, you know, and I'm sorry about that, but dream like a utopist. I do love the word utopia, because utopia means that exist in no place. That is, to me, the definition of what I do on the internet. It exists in no place. So dream like a utopist, it means dreams and then do things. Reach out like a sharer, care like a commander. Okay, those are the lessons. Challenge accepted. What will we do for the next three years? This is called Contributopia. This is our roadmap for the next three years. Uh, so, three years and 12 actions. All those actions are in some way or another related to those lessons that I've just taken time to tell you. So, we have to create services but those services, like from a site, from a meet, from a petition, from a tube, and all of them are a drawing in this illustration that I really love, David Rivois, great illustrator. Um, all of them are thought out, outside, for example, of Gaff and Box. From a tube, there has been a, a, a talk just before, uh, just before myself, uh, is a decentralized, federated kind of YouTube using peer-to-peer <coughs> broadcasting. Why? Because Google won't ever do that. Google needs centralization to centralize all our data, all our attention. So let's think outside the box. Um, all those tools, we also uh, share them in their beta version so that every user can come and tell us, okay, I would like this, I think that, I feel that this interface should be, well, it makes me feel like this or like that. And having this feedback is really important to try to improve together. Already we have contributions uh, on from a tube, for example, and from a seat. Uh, hiding love, decentralizing, well, let's take time for the chaton because we need this, um, this uh, um, network, uh, hosters network. We, we need to share so much with them because there is so much to do together. Uh, Why you know host, we are going to continue support Why you know host and find out how to facilitate self-hosting with them. Internationalization, we really don't want people, English-speaking people using our services because there are way too many French-speaking people right now. But maybe sharing our experience will help others to adapt what we did into their country, into their culture, with specific, um, uh, I don't know, specific uh, structural problems or specific cultural problems that we don't have. So maybe it's, it's uh, important just to document our experience. And from a soft winter of code, <laughs> because winter is coding. Okay. We have the joke, we kept the title uh, for that. Um, is not Google of code because we, some of code because we don't have Google's money, but let's all find a way, a platform uh, for people who have talent, for freely and open source project who n needs talent and people who have money that can pay talent on the, those projects to connect together. Just that it will be something more than the quite nothing we have facing Google some of code right now. And this is the last world that we have to explore, but we don't know exactly what it's going to be, because, or exactly how we're going to do that, because all those projects are being thought right now by our users, by our communities, by the people who are interested in those projects. So we just know that we want to do those kind of things. I mean, a university of the people on the internet, what does it look like? I don't have a fucking clue. We know that we would like that because it would be great and it would help a lot uh, a tool like that. But, well, if we want to imagine it together, just come and join. So this is our roadmap for the next three years until 2020. I just 
well, wish you want to journey with us to those beautiful worlds and uh, contribute. Thank you. We don't have time for questions, I think. See? Mm, yeah? Very short. One, or two One or two questions. Okay. Make it short. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know the cloud room system that is quite similar to you know host? We, uh, which Cl cloud room. Cloud room. Yes. 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 There are lots and lots of systems that, that exist. Cloud rooms. There is cozy cloud also. Where you know host. For the, lots and lots of systems. Uh, Rise up did what we did right, way 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 before us. For example, Rise up in uh, in the U.S. So there are lots and lots of uh, people doing what we did, mm -hmm. and I think if, well we have started to map all those people and we want to start well, talk to each other and network with each other because we have a lot to share and more people will do it if we start documenting all of that. Another question maybe? One Let's short go. question. One short one, okay. How is Framasoft paying for your services that you provide? Okay, how are we paying? Thank you, because I haven't talked about that. I'm sorry, thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, um, I have the 2017 numbers, and I think it's more than 85% of the money we have comes from donation. 95%, it's almost everything, uh, comes from donation. And what I like to repeat is that our number of users, between 200 and 400,000 people, and in 2017 we have about uh, 3,500 people who donated to us money. And I think that's a very interesting economic model it can be reproduced everywhere i know it, it can't be reproduced everywhere but very interesting model because people who want free lib uh, services aren't discriminated uh, upon their, their mo the money they have in the bank account and i, I really like that so it all comes from donation except for uh, selling a few t-shirts and uh, books you know and things like that